No, that's too big. Too big? <laughs> wait, wait, so, so, all right. So, so, so let's just speak more broadly. A fraction the diameter of a nucleon of an atom, okay? A thousandth. A, a, okay. So, you want to make sure nothing else is responsible for what you're about to measure. Otherwise, you're measuring the wrong thing. And when I visited, they were telling me if somebody's walking down the street, a mile away, those vibrations can be detected in that. That's exactly how they described it. But they, they see all vibrations. So they have to isolate the experiment from anything that could be happening from the outside. Okay? So then you isolate it. And then you put it in a vacuum so that air particles are not bumping into it. So now it's there. But then it is at a temperature. It's not at absolute zero. So at any temperature, all everything is vibrating. And even if you tamp that down, there's always a quantum uncertainty about the position of a particle. Heisenberg told us this, okay? Mm -hmm. So you, if you want to know exactly what a particle is doing, there's an uncertainty to that. So how are you making measurements that are smaller than the quantum uncertainty allows? And I, we, we had this conversation, and Kip Thorne said, well, we did blah, 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 and we did this. And in that way, we cheated the quantum laws. And I say, no, no, <laughs> then it's not a law if it bends at your will.